Let's have some beer. Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and you're watching yet another beer review. Thank you so much for joining me. Smash that thumbs up button in the face, and let's just get into it, shall we? Yeah. More beer from Ruhaha. This one is actually from Gatineau, where I believe that's where Bruhaha was. This is a can of Cypher, double New England IPA by the 5th Baron Brewing Company out of Gatineau, Quebec, coming in at 8% ABV. Uh, yeah, this was uh, $6.99 at Bruhaha, plus, I guess, the 20 cent Quebec premium deposit you got to pay. And uh, never had anything by this brewery before. Never heard of this brewery before. That store, Bruhaha, was outrageous. Just insanity. I'll put a picture or something here. So much beer. And if I forgot, I'm sorry. Oh. Tiny taste of yummy. Tiny taste of yummy. Oh. Oh, okay. Seriously? That looks insane. It actually looks a lot like that other double IPA I had from Le Castor. Look at that shit. Oh, yes. Oh. Pineapple-y, mango -y. Citrusy, like lime, limey and orangey and lemony. Smells delicious. Shot in mouth. Mouth feel on that one is freaking fantastic. It's like creamy, super smooth. Lingering fruity leavings in my mouth. 8% ABV. You'd never know. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. It's just juice. It's delightful, delightful juice. Like, I have yet to be let down by one of the beers that was purchased at Bruhaha. This has a date of 14th of September of this year, currently 17th of October of this year. So, that's fresh. Um, what else we got here? Some stuff in French saying don't. Alcohol abuse is dangerous for your health. Consume in moderation. Yeah, you know, don't don't be an idiot. Uh, I don't see anything else on this can as far as ingredients, so that's unfortunate. Plenty of space on that can to put your ingredient list. No reason to not do that. At all. To what I says. I realized I've totally stopped doing this. Like, I'm not even sure how I do it with my current setup. But for a long time, for a very long time, I had a screen next to me where, you know, I'd show the brewery and whatever else. I could maybe... My computer's, like, right there. And I have another monitor somewhere. Let me work on that. Anyway, what I was getting at is I wanted to say, go to 5ebaron.com. Uh, 
five with an E is the French way of saying like five with a TH, fifth. It's, I'm not sure how you'd actually say five E in French, like how, how the word, the word fifth or fourth or third or second. I know like un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. But yeah, like that just isn't the same as saying first, second, third, fourth, fifth. You know what I mean? So yeah, 5ebaron.com. And then from there, you can play with Google and translate it. And they've got some pretty cool sounding beers on tap right now. 12 of them, apparently. This 12. What other way? Okay, it is. West Coast Pale Ale. New England Pale Ale. Double New England IPA, which is not the one I'm having. It's called Hippie Rock. New England Pale Ale. Imperial Stout. Agoza. Another double New England IPA. Double New Gagua. A Berliner Weiss. A West Coast IPA. And an Alsatian Pilsner called Petite France. Sure. And they have food that sounds freaking delicious. So, yeah. All I've really got to go on is the beer. And only one of them at that. But if they're in Gatineau, next time I go to visit Guy, this place will be visited. You're goddamn ready to go back to visit Guy. Went to Big Rig, had some pizza. Big Rig makes very, very good pizza. Only had the one beer because I was driving, but. And that was like you know, near the end of the trip, and I honestly had enough beer for a couple of days. So, yeah. We did the uh, Beer Analysis 101 on Big Rig's Tales from the Patch Pumpkin Porter. And me and Guy, for the first time ever in the history of Beer Analysis, were actually on location at the brewery for the Beer Analysis. Didn't work very well because the brewery is also a very big restaurant and there was a lot of people and there was a hockey game on and a lot of the background noise and Guy and I could pretty much not hear what was being said throughout the rest of the beer analysis at all. So it was still fun, but if you brought some headphones, would have been a good idea. Anyway, rambling is fun. This beer is great. Eight point seven five. I'd give it a nine point two five, but ingredients. And that's how I roll. If you've had this beer, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Start the conversation. And then blah blah. blah I'm done. Uh, I had the previous New England IPA that was also a double at Las Calacastor one, like a half an hour, an hour ago. Only two beers I've had tonight, and I ate a decent amount of food today. They're just, these are getting to me. Good times. Like the video if you like the video. Dislike the video if you dislike the video. The, the choice is yours. Do what you do. Subscribe, bell notification, and I'll be back, something like this, pretty freaking soon. Peace out. Yeah, I need to find my other monitor. I'm totally going to do that. Yes. Or should I put it there? But this is where Moo Cow sleeps. So. Yeah, it's going to go here. <laughs>